Despite an agreement mediated by Egypt to stop the violence, the Israeli military launched a barrage of strikes on Gaza today, assassinating a top Hamas military leader and killing civilians, including children. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke in a televised address. Today, in a very accurate way, we hit the, tar- the Hamas targets and um, also the rockets which are atta- attacking Israel, we have hit. Translation from Al Jazeera. Israeli officials say their offensive is a widespread campaign called Operation Pillar of Defense and published a video of the strike that killed Hamas military chief Ahmed al-Jabari. Israeli military spokesperson Avital Leibovich said the attack is justified because of Hamas rocket fire into Israel. We went on Operation Pillar of Defense in order to first and foremost defend the people of Israel. I'm speaking of one million Israelis that are currently living within the range of the rockets, and this situation must be stopped. Ahmad Jabari is a terrorist that has blood, Israeli blood on his hands, was involved in many terror activities against Israelis, and this is why he was targeted uh, in the car uh, this afternoon. We will continue this operation as long as we need in order to defend the people of Israel. Gazans reported military strikes throughout the evening following the attack on al-Jabari's car and many injuries. Residents posting to social media described warships firing from the water and drones flying overhead. Photos posted online allegedly show a one- and four-year-old killed in the attacks. For more, we're joined by FSRN's Rami al Magari. Rami, tell us where you are right now. Doreen, I am I'm right now in, in my home uh, in the central Gaza Strip, uh, where I do my work, actually. And uh, I have been following up on the news uh, since the, uh, the, the evening, the afternoon, actually, when the Israelis started their uh, operations against Gaza by targeting a top Hamas military leader, which I reported on uh, already for FSRN today. And uh, here I'm just, uh, I just can't, uh, can't close my eyes to have some sort of rest or sleep because it's really insane and the Israeli strikes are continuing in, in the region on different parts of Gaza Strip, including the, the hometown of Maghazi where I live right now. Uh, uh, the population are just getting uh, afraid of more intensity of Israeli attacks uh, to to come in the upcoming hours, that is the main. The, 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 those are those are the main concerns of the, of the people. Maybe you have just heard uh, an explosion. You can listen to. Yeah, me. I can. I can hear in the background. Describe yes. what just happened. I I am I am I am just putting uh, my recorder on on on. Rec- yeah, it is a very very more tense, more tense, more tense about the three strikes right now. While I'm talking to you, actually. Three air strikes just occurred. That is that is apparent, actually. Some youth are just uh, in in the corner in the neighborhood, just watching very very carefully what's going on, just sticking to their homes, which uh, to the front uh, doors of their homes, and uh, this is a sort of a very tense night that the people cannot have rest, cannot sleep, and they are worried. They are scared that there is, there is something larger will happen uh, uh, possibly in the, in, the, in the next few hours or the next few days. Uh, a reminder of the war that Israel launched in 2009. Rami, it's now evening there, and as you describe the, the strikes that you can hear in the background in the area, how are people there doing? Uh, have you spoken to your neighbors, um, other people in the area? Actually, the people are just, uh, I have just been talking to some people, and they, they are very, very concerned about the situation. This is, as I told you, a reminder for them of the uh, Castlet operation two, three years ago in 2009, in January 2009, or late 2008, and through the January 2009. This is a sort of a reminder to them of the, of the situation by then. And they are concerned that situation is escalating, and the people were, 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 the people's situation will get worse than than ever because the, the the people here have 
hardly have been hardly co- have been hardly rehabilitating out of the very large scale attack that Israel launched in 2009. So now they have a sort of, of a fear, a big fear about what uh, what Israel is, is trying to do, whether it is going to have to carry out a larger scale attack on, on them, similar to that of 2009 or not, which means a lot for the population here, which means a lot of sadness, a lot of sorrow, a lot of of suffering in terms of the casualties, in terms of the destruction of their infrastructure that is being rehabil- that is rehabilitating for about three years now. That's FSRN reporter Rami al giving us an update from Gaza. Rami, thank you very much and, and take care there. You are welcome to Rand.